All right, hey guys, time for a quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to rip music from DS games. This is going to be ripping the highest quality audio, and we're going to be only using free software. So uh, we're going to need two programs. One is SynthFont. There's a free version, luckily, uh, right here, SynthFont 1. I just go ahead and click the full package, and when you install it and run it, it will give you something like this as a kind of registration. But you can just click, I will continue using the evaluation, and you'll be just fine. Here's a program, here's a song I was working with before. Um, anyway, the other program we need to actually open around is VGM Trans. So go ahead and open this up. And I'll have a download link to this in the description too. So download both and extract them or install them or whatever. And once you have it loaded up, it takes a little while. Here you go. Now all we have to do is load up our ROM file. Uh, see if we can drag and drop. Yep. Just drag and drop your NDS file. Um, yeah, we don't support piracy here. This is a uh, personal dump of my Metroid Prime Hunters game. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of files in here. So there are two main formats the music comes in when you're working with Nintendo DS games. There are WAV files, which are basically the higher quality, more detailed sounds. And then there's chiptune files, which are these SEQ things. So um, let's just go ahead and test one real quick. One of these. Okay, WAV intro. Uh, you can usually preview them by clicking that, but let's just go ahead and open this up. When you click on it, uh, any of the green ones, you can say save as wave, and then you can put it wherever you want. If you want, you can just double click in your address bar, and that will give you the path. Copy, and then paste it in here. Paste. Okay. And here we go. Here are all the samples from that um, wave intro. Let's go ahead and listen. <laughs> So, assuming that was actually a song, we actually have this song on our computer, and we ripped as a WAV file. Um, that's not actually a song, that's just like intro sound effects or whatever. Yeah, so here are the actual MIDI files. Basically, these are just a sequence of notes with instruments behind them. So, basically, when your DS gets to this file, it just plays the notes on these virtual instruments. Let's go ahead and listen to one of these. Uh, they're down here too, so let's go ahead and press play. Also, this has sound effects I forgot to mention too, so you actually have to try to find where the songs are, which can be a little bit annoying. P1. So that is definitely a song. So you're going to have to just go through and press play on a few of them to see if you can actually find the songs. Let's try another one. Alright, so that's the song too. So what we have to do on each of these things that we find our actual songs is we just click on it and then right click and say save as MIDI and sound font too. So just go ahead and click that. Then again, click up here to get your path. Right click copy. Go in here. Right click paste. And here we go. So now these files are not in WAV format and this is what most of your songs are going to be in. So we have these two files. So we need to open them in synth font. So again, we'll need our path. Click up here again if you're running like Windows uh, Vista or later. This is Windows 7. Now in here, we want to go ahead and click this button, Open MIDI or Arrangement. And up here is the address bar, so just click it once, and then paste in your path, and then press Enter. And that should take us to the correct folder. The MID is mid file. So open up this file, and here's our song. Um, so let's just listen to it real quick. As you can see, it sounds very different than what it sounds like on our DS, which was... That's because we need to import the virtual instruments. So let's go ahead and do that. It's very easy. All we have to do is highlight all of these. You can either select and drag, or you can just go ahead and press Control A. And once they're all highlighted, just go ahead and click Sound Font File. Go ahead and click this. All right, now we need to browse back to our folder again. So just go ahead and paste it up here. Press Enter. And as you can see here, it's .sf2, so that's sound font 2. But luckily, sound font 2 um, files can still be open, so just go ahead and click on that. And there we go. As you can see, now all these have sound font, <laughs> sorry, so yeah, sound font 2 at the end. Okay, so now let's go ahead and play it. And now it sounds exactly how we want it to. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to loop shorter files later on, but for now, that's just, it, assuming you had a perfect file, that's how it would work. So let's go ahead and save it. How we save it is we go to play to file, which will render it essentially. Um, let's go ahead and click yes. And then we can paste in our path. 
All right, now we got a few different settings. Uh, we have WAV format, OGG, APE, MP3, FLAC, WMA, and we have a bunch of different options. I say just stick with WAV or MP3 if you don't know what any of the other settings are. Let's just go ahead and save it. All right, so the next thing we want to take a look at is here's a few more options you can mess with. Um, as you can see, the volume's at 100%. If you just feel like this is too quiet, because this is max volume. <laughs> If you feel that's too quiet, you can boost the volume a little bit, and it shouldn't mess up the audio too much. So basically what it's doing is it's boosting all the instruments. It's not like adding a bunch of gain and noise to your audio. So let's just try again. All right, and as you can see, it's uh, pretty decently loud. This is what I use. A 150 is what I like. Also, there's another option. is synth options. Click here. Uh, and here's where you can change your sample rate. Basically, if you want to have even higher fidelity sound, which it's probably not actually needed, uh, you can click 960. That will be more than twice the frequency. But again, not much of a difference. Let's listen again. And um, unfortunately, even if you set it higher, you're probably not going to notice much of a difference because this is still using DS virtual instruments. And even in YouTube, you can't tell the difference because I'm pretty sure YouTube caps the frequency anyway. So you might as well just leave this at 44 kilohertz. All right, um, once we, you've saved your file, you're ready to go on to the next thing. Let's go ahead and try to find something else. Uh, again, you'll have to do those steps with every single song, which is kind of annoying. But let's see if we can find something else. Credits, that might be interesting. All right, so that sounds pretty good. So we're going to go do the same thing as last time. Right click, save as MIDI and sound font 2. Go ahead and paste in our path. And it will export our files, as you can see right here. Load it up. Same button as before. Open MIDI. Go ahead and, and it's in the same folder as last time already, so we don't have to do anything. Uh, open up credits. Since this arrangement of the MIDI has changed, there's no arrangement file. We'd like to create one. We'll just say no to all so it won't bother us anymore. All right, again, highlight all of them, either by selecting or pressing Control A. Now click Sound Font File and go ahead and open the credits file which is right here and again no problems so now what we're going to do is just go ahead and test it and that was very loud so we're not going to use that boost anymore let's leave it back down Okay, sounds good. So now we're ready to export that. Save file as, yes. And just go ahead and save it, and it's saving. All right, now we're gonna do one more um, wave file just to show you that it doesn't, that it works a little bit better. Again, these waves don't always have songs in them, but it's good to just check. So go ahead and click here. You can find all, you can sample all the samples over here. So click on sample and then click play. <laughs> Okay, it sounds like a wave version of the actual credit sound. Okay, so Lunar Nights had a file that gave me that little error I was talking about. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. We're going to open it up. Sorry, I had to type up here. Alright, I believe it was DM20. So we're opening up DM20 from a different game. Loads up just fine. Again, if you press play. Sounds really weird. But that's fine. We just got to import our sound font file, right? So when we open up the sound font file, sound font file for DM20, which is right here, it gives us this message. It said you have more than one MIDI program change. You can assign different uh, sound font changes each. Bleh. It gives us this message. Just go ahead and click the whole track, and in this way, it will make sure that everything is set up right. So that's the last thing you need to know. Now we can go ahead and play. And everything sounds good. So we can go ahead and export it if we wanted to, but we're done. All right, I hope this helped you guys out, and I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye.